Welcome back everybody, my name is Stéphane and this is the French Cooking Academy. Today marks the beginning of the new series on poultry and game where we're gonna explore like chicken recipe, the duck recipe and perhaps some rabbit recipe. I know some people would be scared, don't run away just yet. To start off the series, we're gonna hit the ground running with a classic French dish which is the poulet à la crème et au morilles. Hein? It is a sautéed chicken that is cooked with the morel mushrooms and they are very special specific a mushroom with this rich and kind of smoky flavor and it's going to be cooked with a kind of a mushroom stock then some cherry wine and some delicious double cream on top and make it like a kind of a little uh, stew eh? and just cooked in the cream is going to be absolutely gorgeous now let's have a look how to make that recipe In order to make that amazing dish, the chicken with morel mushroom, you don't need many ingredients. I will put the, the details uh, of the ingredient list in the video description, but as a rough guide, four pieces of chicken, like four chicken breasts, about 40 to 50 grams of dried uh, morel mushroom. This is how they look like. I wanted to show you and they're really peculiar. If you use them, you have to soak them in hot water for at least an hour or two hours even to gather that kind of stock and that's going to be created. A tablespoon of butter, about two shallots, 120 milliliters of cherry uh, wine. Huh? And this is the, uh, not the sweet version, it's actually oxidized. It's got that very big walnutty and oaky flavors. About a tablespoon of uh, chicken stock, like for, you know, off the shelf. And this is half a liter of cream. Now let's look at the preparation of the ingredients. Now in terms of preparation, the main thing that has to happen is to the preparation of the morel mushroom. And these are the soaked version. You know, they blow in size and they're really big. But we need to keep that juice. You're going to take a strainer eh, with a bowl. You can put your strainer on top. And you're going to try to really press your morels in there and put them in here. Once you've transferred the morel, you're going to take that juice for now and put it on the side. Don't discard it. Huh? And what we're going to do here is basically rinsing the morel for any traces of scent because that's the most unpleasant experience. You take a bit of runny water and don't worry, we have the juice on the side and the taste of the morel is still in there. So you're going to take each one and really clean it. Like really press it, clean it, making sure there's no sand or particles in there. And then you reserve it on another bowl, ready to be used. Once the morels are done and they are cleaned and they're all here, now we're going to strain that precious mushroom juice. So you're going to take a very fine sieve and pass all of your juice in there and you don't pour everything because there's some sand at the end. So make sure you keep the good stuff. And I wanted to show you this in a white container to show you how dark that's stuck, as we call it, huh? a liquor almost. Uh, this produced from these mushrooms. It's plain amazing. But let's keep this for the cooking. The last step, once you've reserved and filtered your juice, is to cut uh, the morel mushroom so that they're all more or less the same size. So as you can see here, they come in different sizes. So you don't want to have one of your guests having this one for instance in his plate. And then the next person next to you has got that one. He's going to be like, hey, I've got half the morel or the morel, sorry. So what you do, if it's like the kind of same size like that, you keep them. For the big ones, you can just chop them like in half like that. And you try to give an even portion to everyone. So you repeat the same process with all of the morel mushrooms. All done and our food preparation is now finished. So this is an overview of what I have and what you should have if you make that dish. You need to have everything ready before you start cooking. The chicken pieces has been lightly salted and a bit of pepper. I've cut and chopped thinly my uh, shallots lengthways. I've got the filtered juice of the morel mushroom. My butter is ready, my cream is ready, my cherry is ready. And these are the detailed washed and trimmed morel ready to be used. Now let's cook. Now for the cooking setup, as you can see, this is uh, what I have. I'm making some tagliatelle as a side. You can make rice as well, or even boiled eggs. It goes pretty well with that dish. Uh, so I've got water here. This is the cherry that you're going to need to bring to the boil just for about like 30 seconds to kind of uh, let the alcohol, the excess of alcohol evaporates. I've got my chicken ready and we're going to start on a low heat with the cast iron and start the chicken. So first you put a little bit of butter in there. 
Leave it to melt on low heat and when it's melted we're gonna add the chicken. Okay the butter is foaming and I'm gonna take my chicken and put it in the color just for a few minutes. So basically we're gonna do three minutes about three to four minutes on each side to give it some color. After three to four minutes you should have a little bit of color on your chicken so you just turn it around and do the same on the other side. It doesn't need to be super brown really because that's going to be cooked in a white and whitish kind of sauce so just a little bit of color. So I've said before it's a sauté chicken maybe the word is not exactly right because in in French what we we, we call that we actually uh, stiffen the chicken. We, you just make it a little bit stiff and so you not even partly cook it you just give a little color and make it a bit easier to handle like that. So when it's done like this, after three or four minutes on each side, you reserve it on the tray and we're going to immediately start to work with the sauce. For the sauce, you keep the butter and the taste of the chicken on a medium heat and so you can seal the, the, these little juices on there and you're going to start with your shallots. So remember, don't burn your butter. The maximum uh, you will go with the heat is medium, nothing more. So you're gonna sweat, let them sweat for one or two minutes. Right, so remember there's a huge respect of the ingredients here because we're working with real high price ingredients. Huh? So as soon as you've got your shallot going, you're gonna add the morels. If there's not enough butter, you can always add a little bit. You're gonna steer them like that for one or two minutes. So I've kept my chicken on the tray on the side huh, for later and as soon as this is uh, ready after one or two minutes you've seen you add the cherry huh? so I turn the heat off on the cherry wine and you're gonna add first the cherry and let it reduce a little bit by about halfway and then we're gonna add some mushroom stock huh? so that's the juice we have huh? so very gently you can start by adding maybe you know, there's about a hundred milliliters in there of just don't put too much and not too little. From here you can now put the heat back on medium to medium high so we're going to reduce that a little bit before adding the cream. Once the mushroom stock has reduced enough it is time to add either a little pinch of salt to correct the seasoning. What I like to do is just to add a little bit of chicken stock in there. Eh? So you mix this and that's going to correct the seasoning and add a bit of chicken flavors and some salt. For the cream, you can play around with half a liter, but I like to keep things pretty tight. And what I'm doing here, you see, I'm barely covering the moral mushroom. You don't want to soak them too much. Put this on a high heat and we're going to boil this to get a big reduction. So we get that nice consistency before we add the chicken back. My reduction has taken about 10 minutes. That depends on how much cream you add. The soy, we're gonna put the chicken back. So first, you take all the chicken juices back in, very important. And very gently, you're gonna take each piece of chicken and put it in the sauce. Once the chicken is in, it's just a matter of leaving it to, to cook or to finish to cook for like 10 to 15 minutes or until your chicken is just nice and tender. But look at this sauce already. I mean, this is already creamy and it's like look at this it's snapping the spoon and these fresh mushroom they are bouncy they stay together I mean that's a sign of quality anyway let's cover this and leave it to cook for another 15 minutes and I'll show you the end result all right lid off and I'm gonna turn the heat off uh, it's been about uh, 15 minutes and I think it's nicely cooked and it looks nicely reduced. The color has got a bit more brown. Mushroom, they still hold. Huh? They're amazing these mushrooms. And let's taste. Wow. Wow, wow no comments. Ah, beautiful, beautiful flavors of mushrooms. I mean, these things are, are huge. But to my taste, I think I would like to add a little bit of liquor. So I prepared a little bit of more cherry because I like the alcohol intonation. But this is really up to you guys. If you want to add more mushroom taste, add more of the mushroom stock. If you want a bit of more alcohol, uh, like me, you can add a little bit of alcohol, but it's really up to you, or you, just, you can just leave it as is. And now, let's dress up the plate. And now for the service, guys, that sauce is borderline insane. I mean, look at that color, and the taste with the cherry I've added is mental. 
Okay, I'm gonna put a chicken breast here. And I wanted to put the pasta on there, but I thought, you know what, it's too, too nice. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of parsley on the, on the pasta, on the tagliatelle. Yeah. And I'm gonna use my sauce boats to actually, dare I, serve the sauce. I mean, this is the question. Because that thing is insane. I mean, this is one of the most luxurious dish I think I ever had the, the chance to serve. Honestly speaking, it's almost like a truffle, a truffle dish and it needs to shine just you know, that elegance of beautiful product is really shown on the plate over here. So sorry, I made a bit of a mess there. And basically, uh, you know, from here, I guess you will just serve it like that. And I'm just gonna add a hint of parsley because I like to do that. Look at this, morel mushrooms, they're just insane. And it's just maybe a hint of color, but really not much. I don't want to, you know, it has to be very subtle. I want to respect that plate as much as I can you know, without putting too much crazy stuff on. And voila, bon appétit. This is the chicken with morel mushroom with the cherry sauce. And that sauce, uh, I've got a piece of chicken here that I've reserved on the sides because I wanted to try again because it's really good. My oh my, this is one of the best sauces I've made so far. The cherry here is adding in that sauce like such an oaky, walnutty taste that is absolutely unbelievable. If you have the chance to try this and buy morel mushrooms, try that piece, that recipe. It's really an absolute winner. But anyway, guys, that completes our first video on a new series on the poultry and game. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed cooking it. It was really an absolute pleasure. As always, leave your comments in the video description and I try to get back to all of you. Don't forget as well my Patreon page coming up very soon next week. If you want to support my work and see more of these dishes, please become a patron. Love you all and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye.